I'm gonna talk about the mechanisms of chemical sulfate attack. My name is Tyler Lay, and I love making videos about concrete. Chemical sulfate attack. It's when sulfate salts enter your concrete and destroy the cement paste or create new compounds that are expansive and damaging to concrete. It's pretty simple. Sulfate salts get into water, they dissolve, water goes into concrete, and that starts to cause problems. In my previous video, I compared Street Fighter 2 and sulfate attack, and I'm gonna continue in this one. First, we'll talk about sodium and potassium sulfates. They are the most common cause of chemical sulfate attack damage. They are the best understood, and we're gonna compare them to this guy named Dalsam, okay? And he is Mr. Classic Chemical Sulfate Attack. Yoga, fire. In part one of this attack, the sodium or potassium salts enter the concrete and they start to attack either C3A, that's usually the first thing that's attacked, or calcium hydroxide, or monosulfoaluminate, aluminate, and they form etronite. Etronite's expansive. Calcium hydroxide, or AFM, turn into this expansive crystal material on the right. There's no space for it. So once it forms, it causes cracks. And Dalsam, he may not look like much. He's kind of skinny, he's got these skulls around his neck, but he's got a secret power. He can extend himself. He can use that with his legs, keeps people away from him. If you try to jump away from him, he'll use both his fists and pow, punch you. And that's just like etronite. It expands and causes cracking inside of the concrete. But then part two, it's when calcium silicate hydrate actually decalcifies. Well, after the salts have used up all the calcium hydroxide, they look for something else to munch on, something else to eat, and they start attacking the calcium silicate hydrate. What? Well, this is a CSH, this corally type material. This is what gives concrete its strength. It's super important. But what it starts doing is it starts knocking holes in it. And Dalsam is the same way. If he gets a hold of you, he'll just beat you down. So this is gonna reduce the strength and the stiffness of your concrete, and it's gonna basically turn it into mush or nothing. There are several stages of sulfate attack. When this sulfate and water gets on top of your concrete, first, your C3A will be attacked and it'll form this etronite. This is this expansive material that causes the crack. And then solution will start to penetrate even further. And that'll make those cracks extend. And near the surface, the calcium hydroxide and the monosulfoaluminate aluminate will again turn into more etronite and cause cracks. And they'll keep penetrating and keep cracking further in the depth of the concrete. And near the surface, finally, the CSH is gonna be attacked and it's gonna drill these holes in it. And that's when it turns into mush. So we have some cracks, then closer to the surface we have more cracks, and then either closer to the surface than that we have mush. Sodium and potassium sulfate attack is well understood and there's many ways to stop it. First, you can reduce your C3A by using either a type two or type five cement. You can also reduce your water cement ratio, increase the amount of SCMs, because by doing that, in a way, you're taking out C3A. By taking out cement, you're removing C3A. Also, the SCMs will make your concrete microstructure tighter and harder for outside things to get in. But beware of class C fly ash. It may make things worse. Now, magnesium sulfate attack, it is different. It is kind of rare, but it is nasty and it is scary. And it's like this guy, M. Bison. He's like the big boss of Street Fighter II and he is a meanie. Calcium silicate hydrate is attacked by the magnesium. The magnesium forms a magnesium hydroxide or brucite, but this magnesium hydroxide, it dissolves and it forms more magnesium. So more attack happens, more magnesium hydroxide, more dissolution, again and again and again. It's a horrible circle and it just keeps beating and beating and beating up your concrete over and over and over again. It keeps going until there's nothing left and Bison does the same thing. He has this thing called the Psycho Crusher where he jumps back and forth. So how do you stop magnesium sulfate attack? Well, don't let the magnesium into your concrete. That's the key. You can use sealers, you can try to use really, really low water to cement ratio, but you just gotta keep that material away whatever you possibly can. So in summary, there are several different types of chemical sulfate attack, but all of them 
form new material that's either expansive or chemically attack the cement paste. But the great news is, is that we know how to stop them. Yoga flame. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment below about your experiences with sulfate attack. Take care. Bye. <laughs> Yoga fire. Sonic <laughs> boom. Uppercut, tiger, fight. Yoga, flame. Adok!